This is the first lesson on um, NPHY322 nuclear physics. Let's just get some admin out of the way. When you get to eFundi, you will see an overview of the course, um, as well as just some guidelines on how we will meet, when, as well as the prescribed textbooks. So please just go through those. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that. Now, when you look at the first textbook, which is a little bit old, uh, the one by Brian Martin, um, you can click on the link, and then you should be able to get a soft copy for that, because UCT published it. And as far as assessments goes, you will have three theory tests, each weighing 20%. So a week before the test, you'll have assignment, which gives you... Uh, some guidelines on the test questions, and so forth. The practicals will be from the 30th of November to the 20th of December, and um, I'll give you more information uh, closer to the time. Let's look at the learning outcomes. There will be three study units, and you will have a list of outcomes for each lesson, like today's lesson will be, you know, to describe the building blocks of a nucleus as well as to talk about its different sizes and shapes. After each lesson, I expect you to tick to say I've successfully went through this uh, learning outcome, I understand it, I've revised it, and so forth. But if you didn't attend or you still think you don't understand, Please don't take that. This is just to give me an indication of whether or not you understand the objective of the day. The SWBAT stands for students will be able to. The smallest particle known today is called a quark. Quarks always exist in pairs or in triplets. Particles that are made of two quarks are called mesons, whereas those that are made of three quarks are called barons. Examples of barons are the protons and the neutrons. Protons are made of two up quarks and one down quark, whereas neutrons are made of two down quarks and one up quark. We normally classify elementary particles using their charge or their spin. Protons have a positive charge, which is the same as that of an electron, only that it's positive. Whereas a neutron has a zero net charge. Protons have a plus half h-bar spin, and neutrons have a negative half H bar spin. Nucleus consists of protons and neutrons. The neutrons are neutrally charged while the protons are positively charged. Let's keep things simple and imagine the atom to be made of a central core called the nucleus and electrons revolving around it. We know that this model doesn't actually hold all the answers. However, it shall suffice for the purpose of this lesson. The nucleus is made of two types of particles and neutrons. Protons are positively charged and the neutrons are neutrally charged. We represent an element using the notation x. Then we put the number of particles that are in the nucleus as a and the number of protons as z. And in some instances, we also just put the number of neutrons on the right side. Or we can put Z on top, A at the bottom, and X, N. Remember, N is solemnly used. A is the number of protons and neutrons. And we call it the mass number. Z is the same as the number of protons and is called the atomic number. We normally use the spherical model to understand the shape 
of a nucleus. This does not mean that the nucleus is purely spherical, much as the atom is not purely spherical. However, by choosing the spherical model, we are then able to calculate using properties such as radius and so forth. It just makes the maths simple. The other thing that you need to note is that the radius of a nucleus is normally calculated using the formula R equal to R0 and the cube root of the number of nucleoids. R0 is a constant which is in the order of 1.2 fermis or femtometers. We know that the atom or the radius of the atom is in the order of 1 angstrom and the radius of the nucleus is in the order of 1 fermi. Let's calculate the radius of the helium nucleus. R0 is 1.2 fermis and there are 4 nucleides and this works out to something in the region of 1.9 femtometers. Now, before we meet next week, I want you to calculate the volume and density of the helium atom. Inside the atom, we've got the electrons, the protons, and the neutrons. That inside the protons and the neutrons, we find even smaller particles that are called quarks.